Alright, what's up everyone? It's Sam from 64 Wheels back with more diecast, and this is part two of the Team Transport unboxing. So yesterday we did what 38, 39, and 40, and today we are doing 41, 42, and 43. So these are the latest releases. Uh, I just found these at I believe it was Target the other day. I mentioned in the other video, I can't remember the exact price, they went up a little. Um, but I was pumped to find all three at one time. So we'll kind of go through them and look at them. This is the Porsche 917 LH in a beautiful golf livery. Now, I'm kind of sick of golf livery. They stick it on everything. And I hate when they stick it on cars that were never ran in golf livery in the first place just to sell it. But at least vintage Porsches were raced in golf livery. And this golf transporter looks excellent in these colors and it can be used for multiple Porsches. So this one is an okay one in my book. It just looks awesome. So this is the Fleet Flyer. Look at that. You got, a, got the little golf in the front even. So there's the back if you want to look at it, um, but that is a really good one. I won't be surprised if that one goes up in price too. Next up, number 42 is the Lancia, Lancia, however you say it, um, Stratos Group 5 with the Sakura Sprinter. So that is the, I think that's the Japanese, um, like one of the JDM style Sprinter or trucks, but it says Lancia on the front. And it looks awesome though. Like the everything about it looks good. I love the riveting around the um, the box, um, and that looks super sick. So that's pretty cool too because this is only the second time we've gotten that casting. So, lastly, number forty three, the AMC Rebel Machine with the wide open. This thing looks awesome. I love the red, white, and blue livery. This is my favorite one of these three easy i really like this car in real life um you don't ever see them i love the more obscure stuff you see camaros mustangs chargers everything all all day every day every car show but how often do you see an actual rebel machine or really any amc product um which is why i like that hot wheels does some of the more obscure brands like this which is oh, i mean i just love it so let's go ahead and bust these three open Oh, look at this. Okay. Golf Porsche. I mean, uh, let me know in the comments if you're a fan of golf, if you collect golf, if that's like something you like, because I'm, I, I don't really collect them. I have uh, some buddies that collect golf stuff, but I'm not, I've never really been into it. I like um, other brands more, especially since, like I said, they stamp it on so much stuff. I'm kind of getting, getting a little over it. So Let's see this sucker. Ooh, ooh, that was in there tight. Ooh, let's look at the car. This is nice. I think this is the very first time we've gotten this car with a metal body, metal chassis, um, rubber tire variation, and it looks good. Yeah, look at that golf Porsche on the back. It looks really clean. It's got a lot of golf, golf, Firestone. I like the vintage Firestone logo. Golf Porsche. It looks good though. Man, it's nice. For its debut as a uh, premium, it looks, they did a pretty good job with it. I don't, I actually, these are some of my favorite wheels, but I don't know if they fit. I don't know if they look too modern or not. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think of these wheels. I mean, I like the casting overall. It looks, it's very nice. Because I, I bought a lot of the main line. Um, what was it? Blue and red, I think, when it first came out. Looks good. I think it was purple, too. I think it's been in a few colors. So let's, I'm going to roll it on top of the transporter. Oh, yeah. It rolls pretty good. Zoop. All right. Let's check out this transporter. This has six-spoke wheels um, as opposed to the five on the car. Matching paint job. Uh, this, I think I like the transporter, actually, better than the car. This thing looks great. It's got the bubble in there too. Yeah, this thing looks good. Because it can go for so many different cars. Like you can use this for almost any era golf Porsche that fits this era of truck. I mean, really what? 60s to the 80s probably. Man, it looks good. They did a good job on this truck. I think the truck is the winner. Even though the Porsche is, or, yeah, is excellent. Let me make sure. Ooh, ooh. It's a tight one. Uh, ooh, I, just, I would actually say that's almost too tight. Yeah, it's. I think it's rubbing the sides. Look at that. Ooh, boy. Yeah. 
Ooh, so too many of that and you're gonna rub the tampos off the side. So that's probably a little bit of a design flaw on that one. I don't know if it's just the plastic on mine is tight or if the car is just, I mean, the car is really wide. So let's take a look at the one from yesterday. Let's grab the Mercedes and see if it does the same thing. Cause I think this is the same truck, right? Fleet Flyer, yeah. All right, let's see. I don't know, it does the same thing, look. So these are tight. This car is very tight into this trailer, um, good and bad. Uh, so if you like playing with it or getting it out a lot, you definitely will rub um, the tampos off the sides if you pull it in and out of this trailer a lot. Now, if you wanted to, you might be able to, uh, see, I don't even wanna try to, to mess with these because they're plastic. Like you could technically heat it up or even just try um, stretching it out a little so it wouldn't do that. But since these are mostly for display and not play, like these are definitely collector's models, um, it's probably not a big issue, but yeah, it, it will definitely rip those tampos off if you're not careful with it. So very cool though. I still love the truck is amazing. Rolls really nicely. So we'll go ahead and back it up over here. Put this one on top, just like the other one. Cool. Man, that's, that looks good even sitting there. So, all right. The Lancia, Lancia, however you say it, Stratos Group 5 in the Sakura Sprinter. This looks good. This is only the second time we've got this. I believe the first time was the Boulevard line in the classic, um, like, their colors, the green, gold, red. Um, I have it, but I don't have it here. I don't have it with me. I wish I did to compare it um, because this one actually has new... Uh, new wheels on it that I think is this is only like the second or third time these wheels has ever been used the small six spoke Ooh, Okay, let's take a look at the truck first because I really like this truck the Graphics are great. Got that got that nice red bold line I mean the truck looks awesome Whoop. It's got those like bronze copper wheels It's got a lot of metal to it lots of metal That one looks a little wider than the Fleet Flyer. Let's see if it is. Let's, I'm gonna use this as the as like the test subject now. Oh yeah, that fits in no problem. So that one is a little tight. The Fleet Flyer is a little tight where the Sakura Sprinter has some more room on the side. You can definitely tell it's a little wider too. So let's check out this Lancia. Yeah. yeah, that rolls pretty good. Like I said, these right here are new wheels. Uh, I believe the first time they were used was, it might've been the um, Corolla, the E86 uh, for the mountain drifters. I think that might've been the first time they were used. These have been used before, I believe, even though they're pretty deep dish. I think those were used on the RWB Porsche, um, but these wheels are newer. This casting looks great. This is the first time I've opened this casting, so it's nice to look at it. It's got some nice light detail. It's got the branding on it, the hood louvers look good. Overall, on any of these that I've opened, the paint quality on them seems to be even better than just the premium castings too. I, I, what, whatever they're doing in this line, they're doing it right because it's everything has turned out pretty well. I have found very few errors in these, um, in the ones that I've opened or even seen on the shelf. So that's a testament to Hot Wheels um, putting in work on this line, but I like the flat black on the back. The engine detail and the exhaust looks good. It looks fast. Really nice colors. The bronze wheels look really good on this car. But yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, let me know in the comments if this uh, particular paint scheme is after a certain race car. Uh, I, I don't know a lot about this car in real life i'll admit that i like the regular stratos like the rally version but the group five one with like almost like the silhouette style overhangs is pretty wild to see because it almost you can almost not tell it's the same car but it looks sick looks good Ooh, look at that so this i don't think this i mean this car is pretty wide too but it has no problem fitting in there no issues at all so cool I like that so I don't have a ton of commentary about this one I just don't know about a ton about it in real life but man it looks sick like that hood detail or technically 
trunk or front end detail looks great because engine's in the back, but looks good, man. Did a great job on this line. Like these are, all these cars are worth displaying. They're just so, done so, so well. All right, my favorite one, the AMC Rebel Machine in wide open. So this is supposed to look like um, the Dodge. I can't remember the model. I'll put a screenshot right here of the truck that it's supposed to look like. But it pretty closely resembles it. I mean, there's definitely some difference because they had to like fantasize it or make it a fantasy casting so it's not exactly the same. Um, but it looks very similar. I love this style truck too. So yeah, let's go ahead and bust it open. truck first nice I like that again tons of metal the base has a ton of metal in it they are the like the I can't remember what kind of screws those are called but they're like the triangle screws they have a particular name but I can't remember them um, but this has a ton of metal on it looks good it almost looks like a face just like the Ford has that like clown face it looks good it's got some nice detail on it uh, it's got the Rebel Machine, the big American Motors logo on it. It's got the little toolbox detail down below. It's got the little hook detail on the side. It's got the extra tires up front, just like an old um, like stock car, drag car, NASCAR trailer used to have. It's awesome. Got nice detail. I don't know what all that stuff is, but it's it's detailed. It's got the like diamond plate. It looks really good. It's got the steel wheels, rubber tires as normal. It's even got... Uh, tail light detail on the bottom metal part. Let's see. Whoa. Already went for a ride. Yeah, it rolls nice and smooth. All right. Let's take a look at this Rebel machine. Man, it's good. Nice fat Goodyear tires on it. It's got the 300, I think it says 390, 330. I can't even see it. Yeah, 390, 340 horsepower. That's what it says on it. It's got a mean looking front end. It's got grill detail, headlight detail, nice stripes on it. Just looks mean. It does. Rebel. Anything in like vintage red, white, and blue paint job with like the NASCAR or gasser kind of striping on it just looks so sick. So they released this casting back in like 2012 maybe as part of the Boulevard line as like the stock one. So it was very similar to this. I don't think it had white wall or white letter tires on it, but it had a very similar paint scheme like what the stock Rebel machine had, but it's missing this. So if you had that one, which I do, again, I don't have it with me, it would make an excellent companion to this as like a show and, and shine, kind of like you have the, the show one and then the race one on the trailer would look awesome together or get another one of these and, and take them around both. Like that would be an awesome display piece, but this car looks great. Let's have a year on it. I'm trying to think. 2012. So it first came out in 2012. I think that's what I said. Man, that looks good. I like the, just like them because they're different. I used to cover a lot of car shows. I haven't so much this year, um, but we just see the same cars over and over and over again. Um, just like going to any big car show, like a good guys or a local cruising, you just see a ton of the same stuff. But when someone pulls in with like one of these or even a Mercedes like that, or any, really any of these cars, cause you don't even see, um, a lot of the older sixties Fords like that, especially NASCAR style. Um, it's a welcome site to me. I love different stuff. So this is sick. All right, let's do a roll test. Oh, it rolls well. We got lucky on all these. Look how good that looks together. Man. Looking good. Some of these stay on better than others, obviously. Because, like, look how big of a tire gap there is on that one. There's a lot of room to slide on that one, but I like it. Sweet. All right, so now after you've seen all the ones from today... All the ones from yesterday which one is your favorite of today and then which one is your favorite of all six of them so uh man it'd be a tough one for me i really like the rebel machine um i think that is a really nice one just in general um in the wide open oh 
And then I think yesterday, I think I said this one was my favorite um, package of the of both of them. But man, there, I mean, there's ton, ton of good stuff in this set. Look at those. Oh, so gangster. They look good. So let me know in the comments which ones are your favorite or which ones from each day and then which one overall because that might be a, a game changer too day to day. So um, again, thank you for watching. This has been, I'm trying to think which numbers these were. I totally forget. 41, 42, and 43, I believe. The I'm going to read their official names. The Porsche 917, LH, the Fleet Flyer, the Lancia, Stratos Group 5 with the Sakura Sprinter, and the AMC Rebel Machine and the Wide Open. So again, I appreciate you watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments on all these. I'll have more uploads coming soon. Like and subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, follow me on Instagram, TikTok. Uh, Facebook. I'm trying to think. It's, it's so hard keeping track of all the social stuff nowadays. Uh, Lamely Group, Discord, all that. Everywhere. You know. You know the deal. So, um, again, this is Sam, 64 Wheels, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.